in the heart of your reading, you have the Ten of Cups. So this basically here is the problem. The problem is you're happily ever after, okay? Um, and it's crossed by the Eight of Cups. That tells me that there's something missing in your love life or um, you can't, you're not having, you don't, you don't have happiness right at the moment or you could be having happiness at the moment, but you're missing something, something important. Or you feel like you're missing something important. And your foundation, you have the uh, King of Pentacles. So this could be someone that's a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Oh, sorry. Sorry. A Taurus. Yep, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, someone that is also, um, or someone that is very organized, good with money, or um, good with money, very grounded in, in how they are as people. Um, so this could be someone that you're dealing with. So this could be you. You could be also very, you could be a provider at the moment too that's what they are um, especially with the king he's happy to share his 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 um his his um um his wealth and everything um this so this could either be someone that you're dealing with or this could be you and your foundation so this is kind of what's it's kind of holding everything up here um the four of swords um is in your presence so right now you're taking a rest good for you guys okay um, ooh, let me flip this. <laughs> uh, taking a rest. This is also having to do with meditation, you know. Um, so you guys are taking a break right now. You guys, totally, you should totally take a break. Everybody, I feel like everybody should take a break. I don't know, maybe it's just me being lazy. But um, honestly, breaks are wonderful, especially if you take one. You need one. I feel. You wouldn't, you need that break. You wouldn't just take the break just for the sake of it. Now for the future, it's not telling us, as you see here, the moon is the unknown hidden, what's hidden in the shadows, darkness, um, solutions as well. But it could mean that you could reach some type of intuitive peak of some sort in the future, but because it's in the future and it's placements and what it means, the moon, it's not telling us exactly what the future is going to be. Behold, I'm sorry. Don't know why the universe does this. It did it for someone else's reading as well. I can't remember off the top of my head though. In your crowning energy, you have the two of pentacles. So this is juggling things, keeping things balanced. And that's what you're going to need to do in order to get what you want. Um, also, this is um, something you're probably having to deal with. So you're dealing with a lot of things going on physically, like you have to deal with a job, your home life. Um, maybe if you guys are uh, religious, you have things within your um in, with, like practice issues you have to keep up with so there's a lot and children and things like that so if you got some stuff going on in your life right now this is what you have to deal with in, in your present um in the present right now um but it'll get you to where you want to be so keep on juggling guys i know it's tiring man in your feeling is in your feelings you have the emperor so this is someone that's in control someone that takes that's very stubborn and um their way of the highway. So you guys are feeling kind of stubborn, very, um, very, um, very stuck right now, very fixed as you guys usually, as you guys are. Uh, so that's very good. Um, the, um, the, uh, the King of Pentacles, I believe that's Taurus, but or Capricorn, either one. But the Emperor is um, is someone that's um, in control. Of this of of themselves and they like to have control. So you guys could probably feel in control at the moment. Also very stubborn. Um, in your outside factors, you have the the lover. So this is outside. Maybe you guys are showing love and affection at the moment. Uh, this is also a choice. But I haven't seen anything other than the two of pentacles. Um, but so you guys could be making a decision right now between head and heart. But this is mostly probably just expressing love this is what the world this is how the world sees you at the moment love loving and in and, and love possibly um the three of pentacles which is in your hopes and fears now this one's a little weird one it's probably talks about you wanting friends wanting a community um or maybe you hope to have a community you hope to have hope to be surrounded by friends um something celebratory and light and not so serious possibly but it's all right underneath that it's um the devil now since that's up there i think it's have something to do with either um or some addiction something some kind of attachments to something 
can be healthy it can be unhealthy um usually talk about unhealthy ones since drugs come up in the reading as well uh, sorry drugs come up for the card so you could be having some sort of um some some sort of addictions or issues or something like that um you could have or you could be attached to something or something that's that you have to deal with that you have an attachment to all right that is true reading but we're gonna go ahead and pull some clarifiers here yeah 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 let's see Clarify the Ten of Cups. Please clarify the Ten of Cups. Oh, ten of Cups. I mean, honestly, I don't think we need to clarify the Ten of Cups. Honestly, I think we should clarify the Eight of Cups. What is missing? What is what is this missing piece? Um, to your ten of cups. What is what is the missing link to your happiness right now? What is something missing in your ha in your love life? Okay, we have the hermit. The hermit is what's missing. Me okay, so the hermit is all about um, doing things all alone, taking time out to yourself to figure out the answers. It's a very spiritual card. Um, so it may be you're lack, you may, or maybe not lack, or it's, you don't have spirit, spiritual, you want a spiritual journey, you are, are go, literally going to have to go find that cup too, because it looks like, the, you know, the eight of cups right there. Um, it could mean it's something missing within yourself that you have to go and look for, um, that is keeping you for your happy ever after. Oh, what's going on, Scorpio? Please clarify the King of Pentacles. Please clarify the King of Pentacles, please. interesting I picked up two and I said I'm gonna just carry this actually so the nine of wands the nine of wands and the king of pentacles so definitely have something to keep with the king of pentacles but you're tired maybe you're tired of being the person that's a provider because the emperor is also a provider it's a provider card as well so maybe you guys are done are just tired of taking control and or just making sure you're financially stable uh, there we go much better um so you guys can see um you guys could just be tired about tired in regards to the person that you're dealing with as well this is this, is, this speaks of exhaustion and a, um, a bit of frustration as well with the nine of wands because he's standing there just like beaten and battered and he just doesn't he just wants to give up but he knows that if he stays, he'll be completing his he'll be completing his task. So he's not gonna give up. So it's maybe having to deal with someone that you have issues with, and it's just kind of weighing on you as far as exhausted. Or you could be, or this could really very much be you, right, guys. You guys could be very exhausted right now because you do have the four of swords. You do have the four of swords in your feelings, in your future. Sorry, your present. Excuse me, God. Sorry about that, guys. What is the four of swords doing in the present? I'm taking this break. It's pretty clear to me, but just to be sure. The queen of swords. So the queen of swords means it's um this is someone that's a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or someone that's very good with communication, very stuck stickler to the truth. Um. Someone that speaks your truth. So maybe you're taking a break because you've been that king of swords. And you were this last reading as well. Um, they came up for you and then someone else came up for you uh, as regards to like the king of swords. So it was something to do with the relationship about being honest and speaking your truth. And now you guys are taking a break. 
from being that person last week. Huh, okay. I'll pull some cards for the moon, but it's unknown. So even if it's in regards to something, it wouldn't we wouldn't know what the future would hold. What is clarify the, the moon for the future, please? Wow, dudes. The moon. It's seriously not gonna tell us. It's really not gonna tell us. So we're just gonna have to go off of instinct with the future. It's unknown. For shizzle. It when two cards come up, it's a definite meaning. That meaning of a card is the meaning for that spot. So if it comes up twice, then it is what it is. Um, the two of pentacles. What are we juggling here? And why do we even want that to juggle? What is, well, let's just clarify the two of pentacles. What is, what card is that regarding to? Yeah. Ten, the Ten of Wands. So this is basically saying that you are it's a burden. So whatever you're juggling, it's a burden at the moment. That's a lot on your plate. Gee whiz, guys. Working really hard. But you gotta keep doing it, because that way you get what, what you need. You can get what you want. Okay. Emperor in the feelings. Holy moly. Emperor in the Feelings is coming up with the Seven of Swords in the, t uh, the tower. So this could be lying in the seat in this like an unexpected, uh, unexpected lie of some sort or stealing. Um, or you could be dealing with something that was unexpected or refusing to deal with it with some unexpected event. Huh. That is really interesting. And it's kind of contradicting because the Emperor handles everything. He don't. He doesn't like take. He doesn't take no for an answer. Um. But he don't lay down and let just shit happen either. He don't like. He cares, but it's not acknowledging something. The seven of swords is about not acknowledging something, or sneaking away from a situation, and it has something to do with some unexpected event, something unexpected happening, maybe unexpected life, making you guys feel like the emperor, kind of stiff. The lovers. Okay, but the lovers in the out. Come on, as the factors. Ooh. So you have the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Cups. To me, I said that um, this is about someone that's focused on their love. Um, it's focused on love and and their happiness, and they're happily ever after. Now, the Knight of Cups. He's, um, he could be a young Scorpio, um, Pisces or, um, or Cancer, uh, that you guys could also be dealing with right now. Or, um, or this could be you guys just focusing on your love life. And that's what it's like. You're focused on your love life and you want happiness. Or maybe you're deciding between those two. Your love life or emotional fulfillment. I think you guys want both. You guys are focused on your love lives, I feel. And that, your love life is what's going to bring you that happiness. Perhaps you, yeah. Because what's crossing you from the Ten of Cups in your problem circumstance is a missing cup. And it looks like you have that cup for the Ten of Cups. So right now you're looking for that right now. What is the three of cups in the feeling in the hopes and fears? What is the ten of what is three of cups in the hopes and fears? Three of cups in the hopes and fears. This is the three of cups in the hopes and fears. What is the ten of cups in the hopes and fears? What is the ten of cups in the hopes and fears? What is the ten of cups in the hopes and fears? Sorry, three of cups. Three of Cups and Hopes and Fears, please. Ooh, the King of Swords. 
You guys had this in your last reading. The King of Swords came up for you guys in the last reading, and he's in your hopes and fears. Hmm. That's weird. I have no idea what that could mean. You're hoping for something. You're hoping for the Three of Cups, which is community, friendship, and this King of Swords. Maybe you're hoping for this to be friends with this person that you guys are with. Maybe. Maybe you just want to put him in the friend zone. Put him or she, uh, he or she in the friend zone. Him or her in the friend zone, as I should, as I should say. Maybe you'd rather just keep this friend, this relationship between you and, and a, an earth sign um, as friends. Or just nothing very serious. Huh. And maybe you're taking a break from, from an air sign. Is it, huh. What's going on, guys? So you don't see happiness with this person that you're with right now? Mm. That's what it seems like. Now, the devil is about... So the devil, I clarified, is the two of pentacles and the four of pentacles. So that just basically, that to me sounds like you have, it's like keeping the balance and you see he has two things wrapped up into each other. So it's like juggling things, but they're all somehow connected with that string around him. It's in the infinity sign, if you see that. And then not opening up. So maybe you guys aren't really giving this person much to, to work with right now. Or... Or you just kind of want to stick to with the things that that you have to work on, and um, um, and and you're just kind of keeping to yourself though. I have no idea, um, but the un underneath the deck you have the Empress, so that speaks to someone that's able to create things that they want to create. Um, someone that's very um, excuse me, she's the mother card of the whole deck. So this like this speaks of a soulmate connection. Because you have the emperor in your feelings, and then you have the empress on the, on the, at the bottom of the deck. Then you have the queen, king and queen of swords, again, in your reading. So this person that you're dealing with, if you, I don't know if you want to be friends or not, or move on to the next level. I don't really know. You want to have some sort of kindliness or friend, friendliness with this king of swords. Maybe he or she is someone that you're interested in, and you just want to be friends first. Maybe hope to be friends first? Huh. And it probably isn't an air sign of someone that's very good with communicating, like I said, and things like that. Someone that's very good with communicating. Um, someone that's that doesn't lie and does a good... Well, never mind. But they can have the capacity to lie. Anybody has the capacity to lie. Someone that's very good with communication. Someone that does take... Oh, shit. Let me show you your Romance Angels card. But um, let me go ahead and summarize your reading really fast. Um, so for the reading that we have here, what's keeping you from having happiness right now is um, something within yourself. You're missing something within yourself. In the foundation, you're dealing with someone. You're dealing with someone that's very, it's kind of grounded. Um, and it's exhausting. Or you're being the one that's grounded and it's exhausting. Um, and you're, in your present, you're, well, right now you're taking a break. Possibly from someone that's an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or you're taking a break from being the truth speaker. Um, right now, your future isn't un is unknown, but what's going to get you to what you want is juggling things, um, even if it's a burden right now. Um, <clears throat> or um, right, yeah, just they're juggling the, the stuff that you guys got going on, which seems like a lot. Um, and your feelings, you kind of feel you kind of feel stubborn. Due to um, lies, an unexpected unexpected lie, um, or not dealing dealing with something, or someone not dealing with something in regards to something happening, uh, you're feeling um, maybe more empowered by the situation happening, but someone's not dealing with something. You're not probably dealing with something, or you you pot or you or someone else possibly lied about some sort of unexpected event. Now, on the outside factors, you have lovers, so that means you're focusing on your love life um, and happiness. What's going to get you to the happiness? Oh, that, that emotional fulfillment, you know? You're, that's, what, that's what it's telling me. Um, in your hopes and fears, 
you're hoping to have some sort of connection or maybe this sort of some sort of um, friendship with this air sign. Perhaps you guys don't want to go any further or you at least want to get to that step. If you guys haven't are not in a relationship right now, um, you guys maybe you guys want to bring, uh, connect. You hope to connect with this person as in a friendly level again. If they have been on some some unpleasant pleasantries in the past, or you guys hope to at least like move make that step to toward them being friends. If you guys aren't like I said, if you guys aren't together now, um, and then your outcome is have some is speaking of the devil. So, um, an addictions, drugs, um, attachments. Um, but you probably want to test yourself to work and kind of keep to yourself, and that's like a habit that you want to break. That's what the devil is speaking of habits. So maybe you you're dealing so in your outcome you're dealing with habits right now that you're wanting to kind of break out of, which is being like being in your work, juggling everything, and keeping to yourself. Now your romance angels causes children. Now you have the empress on the bottom of that deck, and that means that's probably like I'm just gonna say it right now. Some of you guys could be pregnant. Some of you guys could be expecting children. Um, or you guys could, um, could see the relationship as children, something young, something starting fresh, you know, like something born new, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be children. It could just be projects and things or just how the relationship is starting out. It could be, you know, it's young, you know, it's not, it's not ages old, you know, um, um, but this speaks, uh, this speaks of something, um, something new coming up in your life. Or something that you see as your child like like i said a project of some sort um your love life is being affected by children huh maybe you guys want children because the ten of cups is also the family card maybe you want love and children maybe you guys want a family and somebody's missing inside you because you you want that but you don't feel like you're ready or possibly um hmm or maybe the person that you want to have children with is exhausted and they're tired <clears throat> um your wisdom oracle card is 27 exchanging gifts i'm going to go ahead and read the oracle message for you guys Okay, the oracle message. You're entering into a productive and enriching time when all matters of opportunities are being offered to you. You have everything you need to seize them. Yet, in order to honor them, you must put you must put in the time, exchange your experience and skills, and commit heart and soul to what you're choosing to pursue. You can do it. You have what it takes to successful to be successful if you align with the law of giving and receiving. You must in you must engage in a dance of give and take and push and pull and doing and being. If you let fear guide your choices, you could deplete yourself or create an imbalance. This is not a time to just do do do. Use currency wisely and be and be mindful of the of the value others bring to your life and their relationship message. Love is an exchange of life force energy between two beings. It grows exponentially. When it's reciprocated, excuse me, you must give and receive in order for love to flourish and abundance to flow be, um, between you. Spirit wants you to start accepting all the blessings um, um, waiting for you, as well as offer the same be, um, same gift in return. Open your heart and allow it to be filled. Let love in and let it flow out of you too. Love is truly yours today. Huh. Now, if now it could be speaking of children, because children are sometimes seen a lot of times, and I feel are blessings. So perhaps there's blessings coming in your life. That's what's probably speaking of children. 